everyone. Welcome to Higan Iruthil. So we have here updates for the upcoming launch because um, me and other players are already coming from Vanguard. So there is a bit of an update and probably going to be telling you some of the changes, the differences. Some of them I don't have any experience in playing, especially for players. So after this one, we're going to be taking a look at the UI everything what's new in the actual game before you guys start especially if you haven't played in the vanguard server or the soft launch so for this one this is going to be your dev blog it is his number one this is the first update or optimization this one there will be an optimization of the ai so better um performance in terms of an assassin if if it if the assassin dashes at the back so there are certain considerations um especially with Iluya. so the lowest hp enemy will be the target and a character will attack the enemy in the most uh th that is the most adjacent so those are the two conditions that were added there's also a bug with the uh, black's active skill it was fixed also for asa loving land which also hits allies uh, already cured and this one the effect of uh, wind breath which affects wind um, wind heroes or elements so each stack of wind breath will increase two percent of the target ad and ap upon f uh, up to five times this are buffs guys take note so these are not nerfs at this point we're going to be taking a look at the uh, character updates talents and play bonuses for this portion and i'm going to be discussing ones that i've used so far so that i won't you know i won't confuse you guys so passive skill this one the one stack of bird is nice to have because she doesn't have this um passive also the supply drone will affect everyone but rita in the team i think this one is uh, kind of a on a nerf direction rita's original attack speed will be increased as well so her previous attack speed was very slow she's actually a sniper so right now i've tested her out and definitely her um attack speed is actually better for the supply drone guys i'm not sure if this i think this used to affect rita as well so please correct me if i'm wrong that this is that this is a nerf um i'm sorry i'm you know just correct me if i'm wrong um again i tend to forget these things when i see them in the battlefield talent rank one of uh five to one five dash one okay besides the original bonus of monitoring the affected unit will receive 30 more crit damage with pyro characters and this one is uh talent rank uh six dash two Besides the original bonus of movable armory, allies enhanced with the supply drone will cost 50% more basic attack damage. So again, um, these are buffs, most of them, except for passive skill. Number two, I'm not sure. Could be a nerf, could be a buff. So please tell me what it is. For Hathor, I think these are, these are buffs, guys. Um, so this one... It won't take a critical basic attack to gain the stack, so probably a just a regular basic attack. Um, I haven't used Athor, but these are buffs as early as before global launch. For Queen as well, so besides original effect, uh, at the active skill Shadow Bane after hitting the target reduces two stacks of enemies enhancement effect. These are buffs. I've used Queen for a while. Um, these buffs are nice to have for her kit and uh, let's go up aluya this one she ba she not barely needs she really needs for her ultimate besides its original effect ethereal show when it lasts will give aluya a 30 percent no take th uh, 30 percent of physical lifesteal before the problem with aluya is that she can't really hold her own she you know usually gets killed frequently this one will answer that partially but i tried her i tried putting her up front and without a guardian beside her she can take some hits i tell you of course she does have to have a healer at the back but this skill is very very nice for her um makes this makes sure that she survives 
a lot of hits as well as she can give them. So Motes Ju don't have actually an experience playing her, but these are I think de definitely buffs. Cloar here. So this is going to be a buff as well for the active skill from 5% to 10 up to 50. And we'll have, okay, so this again are buffs. Follet here, this I think are buffs. I rarely do see um, nerfs at this point. So take a look at these and uh, more or less, if you guys haven't been playing Vanguard, you won't be able to, to know the difference from what we experienced before. So moving on, these are more uh, buffs. So these are for clear. So each stack of wind breath, the physical shield granted by tactile equipment will increase by 20% up to 100%. So this is a buff event, uh, basically. Besides original effect, force field will grant clear two stacks of wind breath, which is nice, which gives her more in terms of what she had before. Raul, these are buffs definitely. Beside the original effect pyro, character's basic attack will deal an extra P damage. So these are buffs. So from 35 to 65%. And Dorothy, new two-piece bonus increased by 15. After casting a skill, it will restore equal to 25% of max HP every second within 8 seconds. So this is also a buff. So these are the things that um, have changed so far. Um, very nice changes for Rita and for Iluya. I, I really appreciate it. I've been using both of them. And uh, let's move on to the actual game itself. Give you guys a preview if you aren't playing Vanguard server. Okay, guys. So we are nearly loading the screen. Um, so far, again, the, the intro has changed. The loading screen actually has changed. And the intro has changed as well. More animations in the intro, which I really appreciate the little details that uh, they put into all of these so look at the bear Okay, that's it so far. Let's uh, enter this one and this will take you to the server. It's still the same. So I'm Vanguard. It's confirming. And a little bit more of a fanfare um, for, the, for the intro. Not a very long intro, by the way. It's a very nice, um, decent intro. But again, better than what they had before. So... Uh, waiting for the screen to load take note guys i'm not playing this in my mobile i'm playing this in an emulator i'm using blue stacks by the way so again the the recent changes um are haven't really affected um, the smoothness of the ui the ui is still silky smooth i tell you the only thing that i think need to i'm, I'm, I'm talking about blue stacks emulator okay so the ui is good if you compare it with uh, with your mobile it's still the same much more crisper in the mobile but when it goes to the battle um for the emulator it's a bit laggy a little bit a little bit around a small bit but with the mobile i've used my phone and i don't think i have a problem as long as you reach the recommended specs Okay, if you know what I mean. So, again, that is the start. Uh, they have added, um, if you can remember, I'm just going to give you tips right off the bat. There is a package here for Fen for new players. It's, I think, um, if I can recall correctly, it's uh, 50 centavos uh, US dollar. So, it's a nice deal to have you'll have fan you'll have a starting hero if you want to spam just for that then that's the best thing that you could do there's also a time limited bundle here 
for me i think the best ones is going to be this one uh you'll have the uh, you know you'll have currency to summon uh your heroes then this the, the cube here is also can also be converted for to summon heroes and you have energy here and you have 80 go 80 credits so credits are important to start but once you reach the mid going to the mid game you'll have enough you won't have to farm these but when you're starting out you do have to farm these so this one this starting bundle is i think one of the best to start on it's 19.99 so more or less good value if you wanna you know if you wanna start right i think th this is already 10 pulls here five this one yeah i think so this is roughly 10 pulls both of these you'll have um additional currency to start off with this one um not recommending this at this point you'll need this one more okay so those are the packages um if you happen to pass by the shop there are also this one is actually good at 499 so this one is daily 60 um if you really want to spend you know you're, if you're a small spender this one is actually good this one the novice supply uh wouldn't go here at this point i'm actually just giving tips to to small spenders if they want to spend this one this is the one that i that that, that i was meaning so this one has uh, other goodies here but this one is also it's already good at five dollars this is one of you know the best packages for a monthly this is a daily login you know uh drop with 60 for daily plus an instantly get of 300 so the one i discussed more so so far those are your better packages um to start off with as far as again skins it's really up to you guys if you want to get them i'm gonna do a more um in-depth uh preview of the store once uh everybody has played already so so far those are the top of mind out of the bat um goodies from the store that i think if you are a light spender you should get okay so let's look at uh, the tour record um i um i'm not sure you you guys are going to get this probably this will start um with uh, day one for you guys so uh you'll be getting here um a skin for uh euphoria but we'll also be getting a skin uh, free for the 2000 pre-registration so this one i don't know if you prefer this one over the free one I'd, i actually i prefer the free one once i saw it so not going to be purchasing this before this ends so so far what else um what's new here so you have again your this one this interface has been changed so we have daily then you have another rewards here so unveil your daily fortune so you have two rewards technically every day this one is new as well these are chats i'm sure that if you chat finish your chat with your heroes they'll be giving you a reward i think so i haven't finished this one so I, there so they give you rewards so just chat with them continuously I think those rewards are meant to be given to them <laughs> so it's weird that they're giving those trinkets to you okay so again another batch of rewards so just wanna i, I don't want to go further but again get my drift as you progress through the chat you'll be given a couple of items probably not rewards um for the community here if you join a community they'll be giving you um rewards as well i already clicked on mine and what else so if you click your icon this one the prestige up is also important 
because as you progress you'll be gaining prestige and you'll be th this was an old feature just want to point this out because some players don't know where it is and uh, some players forget about this they don't usually put a dot here that you have unclaimed xp so you will just have to you know visit this as frequent as possible it's actually located here and that is it so so far rita is my favorite i like how she is designed how she is built plus with the buffs she is going to be great okay so i don't have any more for you um changes from the previous one to now but this is what you'll be expecting so your troop here is your facility i'm not sure if they're opening up other you know other uh content here but there's a quick navigation as well so your troop is your dispatch system a lot of things are there okay inventory trophy for your trophy you'll be getting cubes here this cubes do do brostal it's they usually name it in a weird way that you have a difficulty pronouncing it so wish here the wish um we're gonna be discussing the wish um what kinds of banners to expect so this is what we have now uh let's go to the wish here so for the roster just want to preview guys what i have so far so this these are my core uh i'm very very happy with them so far and uh more or less i'll be playing more of this account let's go to the featured banner and what's to expect because you'll be asking me um which banner do i pull on and uh, i definitely have an answer for you now okay guys so this is your opening content preview this was uh announced earlier and uh, as i mentioned there's a burning phoenix event this is a farming event this is nice if you finish it but you can't finish some of the stages if you're low level so definitely level up during this event so that you could you know you could claim all of the rewards here so you have enjoy the theater show it'll get a limited SSR Searslet and SSR Auto Trick Screamer Echo will be up in the character wish. Okay, so enjoy. Anyway, you, you have, you have ch this will be tied to Searslet's banner, I think, if I am not mistaken, but you can get her here in this event where the rate to get limit okay anyway try to uh, take a look at this event this is one of their best events so far that i've seen i've you know i've participated in this event also in close beta so this event is for is very good for new players farming wise for materials and resources so this is this is the um, the play banner the place actually to start you can you can start with the blue plays not the green ones so i'm gonna be matching plays with different heroes anyway so for this one um i actually tried this one and this one so this top one and this middle one so so far we're, we're i'm gonna go back to um to the banners that are going to come out okay so for the banners that are going to come out these are the, these two are the first if you are planning to stay alive in in the later stages um especially if you don't have um a good guardian i would really, really recommend that you go with gildan gildan will tank for you all day even if you have two you have a mage you have a sniper you have a healer gildan will tank for you you can use her in all of the stages including pvp or in in, in all of the um, content including pvp so gildan is the best choice here but since that eluya has been upgraded recently you might want to go for eluya as well but again the, nothing beats the toughness that gildan can give you she will re she 
um for you know for eluya you need a tank for her to to you know to divert the attention uh, especially if the, the tank has taunt which uh, gildan has so basically what i'm saying is priority is gildan secondary would be eluya if you have gotten gildan in some way or no if it's an off banner pull then go again the pity um based on what i saw the PT system for both will be shared. So you can actually pull for Eluya's banner. Then go for the PT. I just don't know. Um, uh, you, you can pull for Gildan's banner and go for the PT and use the PT for Eluya's banner. You can do that. So actually, I did that and I got both eventually. So again, this game has a nice PT system. It can be shared by two banners. So, and the off banner pulls here doesn't reset the pity. So, again, you could get a lot of good off banner pulls with either banner. So, but I suggest the primary banner that you pull is Gildan, then the pity you spend on Eluya. So, those are my recommendations, guys. And, um, probably put out some more videos tomorrow for you know how to start, uh, well probably put up discuss the reroll um, a lot of people are, are are talking about reroll already so these are just what to expect for the events and what to expect for the new interface and the recent update with us in the vanguard server so thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here